All right, guys, my back hoop here. I'm, I put, put a little cage up here. I'm gonna frame off the inside with some some uh, some roofs and stuff. Yeah, box it in back here. And it's probably 15 feet by I don't know 35 or something. It's pretty big. What I'm gonna do for the roof is I got these one inch. One inch, inch and three eight poles the same as this, and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one along the one along there and clip it, and I'm gonna get some T connectors. I got them on order. Every three feet, I'm gonna put a a pole, and these just connect, you know, on the end here. And just slide over, and I'll put the same thing on this side. I'll put the it's like a T connection. The pipe slides right in, and it's got like a double half. Just clip right on there, and uh, you know, I'll go right across, right across with it, and I'll now put the deer netting, deer fencing on top of it to stop the predators from coming in. But right now, I still go to attach this end here. I'm just, I just took this frame out from inside where I had the, the other, the chickens and kind of a grow out pen. But I want to make this into a permanent pen. I'm thinking. I got some trees from the woods. That's what I'm gonna make the roost out of. I'm gonna make a two by four frame. I got four, I'm gonna put four poles. I'm gonna put a two by four frame all the way around and then I'll put the roost up on top. I gotta put the electrical in here, the lights, and it's a lot of work. And, uh, probably gonna do is put the food in the water over here maybe and build nesting boxes. Or I might put the food and water here and then put the nesting boxes the whole way, which I can do that. I am putting this over enough. It's nine feet. Oh, this frame's gonna be, so it's gonna have plenty of room. If I wanna put the water here and then the food and then have the nesting boxes right across. I don't know yet, we'll see. <clears throat> but right now I'm in the process of building this um this roost. I'll try to give you guys some shots as I go along here. Alright guys, I got all that stuff pretty much cut up. I got a little bit extra here, but not a lot. Um, this is, I'll probably use this inside the run when I make my roost and run. But I'll show you what I did so far. <clears throat> I made that 2x4 platform to carry the weight. Let's see, I got, I got about 28 inches of clearance here to get into this space here. I'm probably going to put the water in the feeder here and put all nesting boxes along that wall, along that wall. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with that. I might put the water, water is here, which I left enough room if I wanted to put the water in the feeder and the nesting boxes, you know, right along the back wall. I could do that too. Now, what I did on this was I built like a stair frame. So they could jump up, 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 up. And I left them room over here. So when I get up here, they could jump up. And they got a whole area up top. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a lot of there's a lot of room up there for them to roost. And I also built these. I also built these laterals on the side here so they could jump up. They don't want to go up all the way. And I can get in here to clean it. You can see. Uh, I can get in here. I can get in here to clean the floor. That's the main thing. You gotta be able to clean these coops because every every four days I clean the coops out. I mean they're they're full of they're full of stuff. Put a brace along the wall here with a little I don't know if they wanna roost here. I put this one up here so they could roost here. There's a lot going on here with the roost. You know, then I got this here with this this brace coming down from here. Everything's screwed in with screws. I drilled everything and I drilled everything and screwed everything in with um, sheetrock screws, galvanized sheetrock screws. So everything's fastened. They'll all they can go up top there. They can get up over there and get up and come up, do whatever they want up there. They'll be able to roost. And up on those beams, I dropped in some uh, some wood, 
So if they do sh go up there and shit, you know, it's not going to be that bad. Same thing over there. You don't want them to go up there and, and start, you know, filling it with shit. So that wood will stop that. And I'll be able to come in here. I'll be able to come in here and clean it. You know, be able to get right on there with my shovel and clean everything. That's the main thing. You gotta have it accessible for cleaning too. So, but you can see the frame I built. I built the frame. I put that two by four on the bottom there to, to, to take those uh, the ladder weight. You know, and everything is uh, all them two by fours are screwed in. Screwed in. So basically, um, the whole thing is uh, you know bearing down on the floor through through the four poles. Because, you know, this is a plastic shed. I don't want to put no extra weight on the shed. But everything's been screwed in. You can see, I put screws everywhere. So everything, everything's fastened good. Well, it's going to be one hell of a, a chicken coop. Nick level, mama. It's going to be Nick level, y'all. If you can see up there if it's too dark but they got I have to put the lights in here yet and I'm gonna cut some windows in uh, I'll probably I'll probably cut a window in I don't know I'm probably gonna cut a window in the back I'm thinking I'm gonna cut a window in the back there right there uh, that's where the door is gonna be to go out so I might put the window over more I might put a window here I might put two windows I'm gonna put a window here and a window there depends two windows these these front windows here don't open. If I wanted to pull them up, I guess I, you know, I could in the summer and put screens there. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but them them do lift up. Come right out, you know. I'll probably just them two front windows. I'll probably cut them out and put something in it. I can lift up. It's got screens on it. I'll put change. I'll probably change these two windows, and put two and put two in the back. You know, and I'm gonna probably have the door here that goes up and down that I could you know lock them in at night. So I'm just starting to build this coop. Um, I'm probably gonna put the Leghorns in here, and the IB, IBA Browns, ISA Browns, uh, in here. Let them grow out. But I gotta get it done because they're starting to grow. They're getting pretty big now. I saw they were uh, three weeks already. They're already three weeks old and they're uh, they're starting to really grow out of the brooder though. So I gotta get this done. It's coming along. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and what's going on with this. I'm just gonna leave all my tools back here for now and I gotta do some more work on it. I gotta put all the electrical in here yet, all the, the switches and lights and power and all that shit yet, so. My little tailor done, I've been using this thing for feeding the chickens. And I got this cage here that I, I shut the cage in and lock it. This way here, I can lock myself in there when I'm, you know, if any chickens get out, they, they can't get out, you know, it's uh. I gotta just, you know, fasten this, put a piece of wood there. Same thing on this, I gotta cut this, uh, I gotta cut this fence. I'm probably gonna get a different fence, different piece in here and fasten it, fasten it all good and put the, put the roof on there. Like I said, I got all the pipes. So, I did order the, um, the eight foot, uh, deer fencing that's gonna, I'm gonna use for the roof like I did on the other runs. And over here, I'll show you what I did. It's big enough run, you know, I could, I got plenty of fence, I could go out more if I want, I could, you know, I could go out another 10, I could go out another 20 feet and box this all in if I want to, but I don't need to. I had this double gate thing here, so you can see the bottom, it was a dog kennel thing, so this will be, you know, an entrance out the back of the coop, and I also got one for the air conditioner, if I got to work on my AC, I get right in here and, uh, you know, work on it, and this way the chickens, the chickens can't get in there and uh, mess with the AC. So it's a double gate right there, and this goes into this coop. You know, so I got two entrances for this coop, and that's a good size run. You know, nothing wrong with that. 
I think it's like 35 feet by 15. So what I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put tops up like I did on the other ones. Keep you know predators from seeing them and all that stuff. And they'll be open. The top will be open. So I got another gate here. I got a bunch of stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all. We'll see. Just keep plugging away at it. My little tailor done. This is a cool little rig, man. A little electric cart. It's got a little forward and reverse right here. And a gas pedal. I gotta fix the brakes, but. Thing works pretty good. I usually leave it over here and plug it in, charge it. And all that. Sometimes I leave it in the garage, the pens. It's not going to be cold out, I'll leave it right here. And I'll go, you know, I'll, I'll put water containers in the back and go feed the chickens with it. Shut it off. I do have a key to lock it up, so. You know, this is a, it's got fold down sides on it. It's got a little hitch on there. It's kind of like a little pickup truck. I mean, it's it's tiny, it's small, but it's a cool rig, man. It's a cool rig. And what I'll do is, uh, if I'm gonna clean out the coops, I'll um, I'll put my little cart on here that then hooks right on the back of the uh, the tail I've done, and I'll drag it around and, and clean the coops. Uh, I gotta clean the coops tomorrow. It's uh, Thursday. It's did do. The old Taylor Dunn. It's kind of a cool little rig, I'll tell you. Um, all the batteries are in the back. All the batteries are in the back here. Here's the chickens here that I've been uh, watching for that guy. You guys eat all your bread? They've been laying eggs. They'll give me two eggs a day, these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have got a good life in here. You eat most of the bread. You eat most of the bread. Tried putting them on my other chickens, but they were fighting, so I'm just leaving them in here for now. At least they have water and food until the guy gets back. Hello. These chicken cages. All I gotta do is I gotta fix some of the the poles, but these things are really cool. So I picked up these uh, these four chicken crates. I got another one, so I got four all together. And, uh, I hold like 12 chickens. Drop the chicken right in there. It's all, it's all made out of wood. That's what they use for moving chickens. I had to, uh, I had to replace one of these. And then this one here, um, I had bought it, and there must have been a rat in there or something, because a lot of these were eaten away, so what I did was I put um, oak spindles in there. I replaced probably like six or seven of them, and glued them all in, all in place. And Drop the chickens right in there. 
lock it right in. I got two of them. So I got four all together. They're expensive little buggers when you try to find these things. Well, that's what they're designed for. Like I said I had to do some repairs on them, but uh, it was no big deal. I bought some stuff at Lowe's, some oak spindles, 3.8, and I glued them in there. I should have did a video on that, but I didn't. This bottom one opens pretty good. Yeah, wooden bottom and on them. So this guy was Sam Levine, and this other guy was Bean. But like I said, I got four of them now, so if I ever got to move the chickens, I throw them right in there. I'll have to find those. Yeah. <laughs> 